You factored in both priority and efficiency, and produced a rigorous and well-structured schedule. You've clearly considered it from every angle. Excellent work. You've got quite a knack for this. Please be here at the Jade Chamber tomorrow morning before Lady Ningguang wakes up and start preparing based on the schedule. With you helping out here, we will be able to focus fully on the auction. It will be quite a complicated affair. I hope so too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight. <laughs> Oh, how strange. Me too. I'm joking, of course. I slept like a baby. Sorry to disappoint you. Now then, the schedule. Let's see what you have for me today. Item 1. Lunch at Leo Li Pavilion with Miss Lua Chiao. Ah, yes. I remember the invitation. I need to make sure I'm well prepared for this. No, someone I've never met before. Today's lunch will be our first time meeting each other. <laughs> She's paying a high price for my time, and I intend to make sure she gets her money's worth. Otherwise, tens of millions of mora is rather a high price for lunch, even one at Leoli Pavilion. When you s That's right. Even at this price, there is no shortage of people willing to pay for a lunch opportunity with me. To be clear, I've never had any hand in setting the price. I too was rather surprised to see it become so expensive. Time is very valuable to me, so when I first came up with the idea, I made a rule that my time would go to the highest bidder. Gradually, it developed into a lucrative business. Yes, that sums it up very well. Most people looking to buy my time are business people who believe that whatever they spend now, they will make back several times over in due course. Naturally, for anyone looking to make a profit in a complex market, the bottom line is having the requisite experience and expertise. All I can do for them is share whatever insight I may have. As for how much my insight is worth in terms of Mora, everyone has their own idea. There is no standardized way to measure something like this. You're a very lucky person, you know. You get to sit in on this lunch for free. In the hands of a professional business person, the kind of information you'll be exposed to would be worth, well, tens of millions of mora. There's no need to be nervous, of course. Now, let's have some breakfast before we leave. Did you organize this entire breakfast? Uh -huh. I know what's going on then. Please, sit. Have a taste of the Jade Chamber's chef's cooking. This kind of food tastes far less satisfying if left out for too long. What do you think? Is the food to your liking? <laughs> Don't forget we have a lunch later. Save some space, or you might miss out on some even better food. Still, I'm happy to see that you approve of my culinary tastes. On occasion, usually everyone is too busy for a leisurely sit-down meal. There is an awful lot to get done most of the time. Breakfast also isn't usually so lavish, hence my surprise when we got here. I actually thought you had cooked it all yourself. Relax, I'm just joking. But I sure probably made arrangements yesterday to add a few extra dishes to the breakfast menu. You willingly took this work on, knowing that it would be tedious, and you have worked diligently. My secretaries and I are very grateful to you. Treating you to some food is but a small token of our appreciation. Breakfast sets the tone for the rest of the day. You can't compromise on it. If you wake up to the same monotonous meal each day, you will start to feel fatigued even before you start working. Well, I'm done eating. We should get ready, then head off to Leoli Pavilion. 
I have some preparations to make first. Could you bring my clothes to my room, please? I need a change of mood, and a change of clothes will facilitate that. Who knows? Perhaps you will have a completely different impression of me after I change outfits. I already instructed Long Yang to have my outfit ready. You can fetch it from her. Thank you. I'll be in my room. Hello. How may I help? Ah, yes, of course. Please wait a moment. I'll go and get them. Here you are. Please give this to Lady Ningguang. Yes, this whole room is full of Lady Ningguang's personal items. Not just clothes, either. There are all kinds of jewelry and ornaments. Lady Ningguang asked us to rearrange this room recently. We're currently right in the middle of that, so everything's in a bit of a mess. That's why it took me a little time to find this for you. <clears throat> anyway, you can take it now. Thanks for coming to pick it up. Did you get it? Ah, this is the one. Please, wait for a moment. I had this specially tailored recently, and I must say, I'm really rather fond of it. What do you think? Be honest, I just want to know your first impression. Phew. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually a little nervous. Knowing that it has your seal of approval makes me feel much more self-confident. If you're second-guessing how you look, you can forget about looking glamorous. Even the finest garments in the world would look out of place on you. That's why your affirmation matters so much to me. All right, let's head to Lee Lee Pavilion. Lady Ningguang. Sorry to have kept you waiting. No, no, not at all. I know that you have a thousand different things to do each day. I'm very grateful for any amount of time you can spare from me. Great. Well, let's leave the formalities aside from now on and make this just a friendly chat. This is the Traveler. I'm assuming you've heard of him. He happened to be in Liyua Harbor today, so I invited him to come along. It's a rare opportunity to dine with him, too. Do you mind if he sits with us? No, not at all. On the contrary, I'm honored. What a surprise to be dining with the illustrious traveler, too. I've always been fascinated by you and your adventures. There's so many questions I'd love to ask you. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. Look at me, getting all overexcited. I'm Luo Chiao. A businesswoman. I work mostly in the textile business, but recently I've been considering branching out into some other markets. That's what I wanted to ask Lady Ning Guang for some advice about. I didn't know there'd be a surprise guest involved, too. <laughs> so, the rumors are true, then. Rumors? About what, exactly? You know... The rumors about the two of you, Lady Ningguang and the Traveler, having a, a closer than average relationship. You haven't heard? Come on, you must know that Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. That obviously includes her relationships. And if you didn't have some sort of special relationship, why would she invite you to this lunch right after finding out that you were back in Liyue Harbor? <laughs> Interesting. 
Yes, we do have a special relationship, but I don't see anything unusual about it. The Traveler is a national hero in Liyue whose actions have directly contributed toward the prosperity we enjoy today. Even putting aside my official status as one of the Liyue Qixing, I admire him on a personal level too. Oh, yes. Oh, there is nothing unusual about it at all. I was just observing that Lady Ningguang now seems to have a second interesting character in her innermost circle. The first one being the captain. You're comparing apples and sunsetias there. Whenever Beido returns to Liyue Harbor, all she brings me is a headache. I've missed out on a number of extremely promising investment opportunities thanks to her. In fact, the timing is always so suspiciously coincidental, I can't help but wonder if she's doing it on purpose. Investment opportunities? Oh, do you mean the luminescent spying business? I hear that's been all the rage recently. No, something else. All the talk about luminescent spines is just empty hype. Oh, but isn't there some new technology from Fontaine that needs lots of luminescent spines to make it work? If it were really that profitable, those in the know would have kept it as quiet as possible. You have to wonder, if the news is spreading like wildfire, who's fanning the flames? I had my secretary do some analysis. The current price of luminescent spines far exceeds the profits that could be made on the end product. So I would advise you to be cautious. I see. Well, <laughs> I was planning to get your opinion on how to get started in that business. In my opinion, there are many people around with ulterior motives, making this a very risky business to enter into in the short term. Long term, it's very difficult to say, but I believe there's too much uncertainty to make it worth your investment. You worked hard to earn every more you own, and you should be just as careful spending it as you were making it. You think so too, huh? Okay, got it. If that's what both of you think, I'll take my time and not rush into anything. Maybe it'd be a better choice to invest this money into an industry that I'm genuinely interested in getting involved with. Lady Ningguang, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. I didn't know how much we'd get through, but you've answered every question I wanted to ask. Good. I'm glad I could be of some help. Now I see why you were able to become the most successful business person in Liyue Harbor. You think clearly. You are very knowledgeable, and you keep yourself well informed. <laughs> it would take me a very long time to come anywhere close to your level. You've been listening for a while. Are you getting bored? Has it sparked an interest in the business world for you? Ah, uh, so you want to be my competitor. Well then... I suppose I'll have to start looking over my shoulder. Or how about this? I'll invest in you early on, before you make it big. I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. This lunch was everything I was hoping for and more. I can't wait to try out everything I've learned. See you next time. I'll look forward to hearing good news from you soon. Right then. Lunch is over. I assume you have something planned next? Although... I'm a little concerned about the auction. I wonder how my secretarial trio is getting along. Good. Then let's do that. There are some slippery characters among the bidders, you see. So, even though my secretaries are very capable and experienced, I still can't help worrying for them a little. Come on, the auction is being held at Yujing Terrace. Lady Ningguang, what brings you here? I couldn't help but feel a little concerned, so I just came to see how everything is going. 
We're about ready, and people are starting to arrive. I think we should be able to start on time. Very good. I think I'll host the auction myself. Huh? You want to do it yourself? Yes. Just in case anything untoward happens. I can take care of it myself. Then we'll leave the auction itself to you. But we'll be sure to lend our full support behind the scenes. Have you attended an auction before? Well, would you like to participate this time? You don't have to bid, of course. Just experience the atmosphere. All right then. Feel free to take a look around the venue before it kicks off. Check out the items up for bidding and see if there's anything you might be interested in. While we're waiting for the auction to begin, feel free to check out the lots or just stretch your legs. Maybe you'll find something that catches your eye. While we're waiting for the auction to begin, maybe you'll find some While we're waiting for the auction to begin, feel free to ch maybe you'll find About time to start. Find yourself somewhere to sit and we'll kick things off. Yes? What is it? That's for you to make a considered judgment on. It's precisely what makes auctions so interesting, don't you think? Until the bids exceed the value of the item you're after, you can keep raising the price. If the bids go beyond what you can accept, then you let someone else take it. Perhaps this does not result in what you might call a fair price, but what it does do is identify the person who values the item the most. Yes, you should look forward to it. The first lot is a teacup from my personal collection. Bids starting at 10,000 mora. That's 10,000 mora for the teacup. 20,000! 30,000! 50,000! Hmm? 80,000! 80, 80,000 over here! Ugh, I'll raise that to 100,000! 120! I swear, some of these bidders are just driving the price up for fun. All right. 150,000. Anyone else want to keep going now? 150 once? Uh, 170? Uh, 180,000. <gasps> mm -mm. 180 once? 180 twice? 180. Sold. <laughs> it's mine now. Okay, then. Moving straight on to the next lot. You seem to be getting quite into it. What a shame that you didn't manage to go home with anything. Oh, of course it did. That's because I didn't come here to sell my things. I'm sure you must find it quite odd that all these everyday items could fetch such a huge price at auction. Since you're curious, why not go and talk to the buyers? I'm sure they'll give you the answers you're looking for. <sighs> Today wasn't my day. There were too many bidders, and they all seemed like experts to me. I guess I'll just have to wait for the next auction. I may have paid an arm and a leg for this, but in the end, I got the result I wanted. <laughs> Nothing of Ningguang's could ever be overinflated. 
I'm far from the only buyer who believes that owned by Ningguang is worth paying a premium for. So how much I make just depends on how many people are even bigger fans of Ningguang than I am. Huh? You want to know why I paid so much? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Because the previous owner was Lady Ningguang. Sure, the item may look pretty ordinary, but that's probably just because I'm not a connoisseur, so I don't know how to appreciate it. But I figured I'd buy it first, then go get it appraised by an expert. Then I'll be rich. <laughs> Well, did you find the answer yet? That's certainly part of it, but every bidder will have noticed that none of these items have a particularly high going rate on the market in and of themselves. Despite this, they were all willing to pay very dearly for them. I wonder, is faith in me really the only factor in their appraisal of the item's value? You'll see shortly. The one who spent the most money will surely be the quickest to realize. If all I wanted to do was make some quick, quick mora by exploiting their blind faith in me, I have a million more effective ways of achieving that than hosting an auction. Every participant in this auction was handpicked by me, based on certain intelligence. Lady Ningguang, uh, something doesn't seem quite right with the items from today's auction. As unlikely as this sounds, and please forgive me for even bringing it up, but I had to ask. Um, you, you weren't selling counterfeits today, were you? Counterfeits? Absolutely not. What motive would anyone have for making copies of things like these? They are simply ordinary items. And there was no coercion or enticement during the auction. Every bid was voluntary. Because we trusted you! Everyone knows that you love Mora, but we also know that you made your fortune through honest means, as opposed to uh, scamming people. You seem to have entered into dangerous linguistic territory there. You should know that unless you have evidence to support your outlandish claims, I am legally entitled to sue you for slander. Of course, if you have any genuine grievances about the auction, the lots, or the process, please enlighten me as to where exactly I went wrong. You... you... Fine. Yes, technically, it was all legitimate. Guess all I can do is take the loss. But if word gets out about today's auction, people are gonna start seeing you as a con artist. No one would dare do business with you after that. I guess what I'm saying is, is this really in your best interests? Let me answer that with a question. You claim that you were willing to pay a high price because you trusted me. But is that really the full story? W what do you mean? What else could it be? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it could be something to do with a lost item from the original Jade Chamber collection that has quietly made its way into your hands. <clears throat> when the Jade Chamber fell, countless valuable items from my collection plunged into the sea. I organized a salvage operation, but still there were many items unaccounted for. A considerable number of these made their way back into Liyue Harbor through means unbeknownst to me and pass through several pairs of hands before finally ending up in yours, and those of your fellow bidders today. Wait, you mean... Yes. Everyone attending the auction today is in possession of lost property belonging to me. Or, to put it another way, they were all people who have had a taste of something that was mine and convinced themselves that I am someone to be taken advantage of. So I ask you again, your high bidding price, was it motivated by trust or was it greed? 
The sole reason I held this auction is to reclaim my treasured possessions. If you are willing to return what is mine, I will refund all the money you spent in the auction today. All right, fine. I guess... I guess I'll return it. You drive a hard bargain, like everyone says. I'll go and get it right now. Please just wait here. Despite his bad attitude, he cooperated in the end. Good. The issue was that all items of mine that have been fished out of the sea have changed hands numerous times already. Determining who has legal ownership would be an extremely long-winded process, with each item being assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. Even Yenfei says she'd have a difficult time defending my claims. I could have bought them back, but it's not in my nature to pay twice for the same thing. Least of all, when they'd be looking to make a handsome profit from my misfortune. After making some inquiries, I found them to be most uncooperative. So I had to resort to this auction to finally put a stop to all this nonsense. <laughs> I just wanted my things back. Hardly an unusual sentiment. At most, a little childish, perhaps. Which is another reason why I didn't tell anybody about my plan. What do you think it was about the Jade Chamber that defeated Osayo? Hmm. Well, I think it was a combination of the weight and the energy it contains. Its great weight meant that it hit Osayo with incredible force, while the energy within triggered that spectacular explosion. Every piece of the Jade Chamber, from the stone walls and wooden beams, down to the smallest ornament, but in the end, they became objects of merchants' greed. It's hard not to get a little irked thinking about it. Thank you for understanding. Now I've got one of my items back. Let me show you what makes it so special. The secrets of history shine through in the relics that survive. And this one now has the story of another age to tell. Please be mindful of your personal sin. Yes, you're right. Whatever happens, they can handle it. In that case, what's next on the schedule? Ah, okay then. Yes, it's been some time since I last caught up with them. Let's go to Mingxing Jewelry first. I need to pick up something before meeting them. Hello. I'm here to collect the item I handed in for repair. Ah, Lady Mingguang! One moment, please. I'll fetch it immediately. Very good. Don't rush now. Please, handle it with care. Hmm. Yes, and no. You probably imagine that Mingxing Jewelry deals exclusively in expensive luxury goods. The workers here are very skilled, so I like to come to them when I need something custom-made. This time, though, I just had them do a simple repair. The item is quite ordinary. In fact, the cost of the repair was more than the item was ever worth. Lady Ningguang, your comb has been fixed. Please inspect it and see whether you're satisfied with our work. We did everything we could to restore it to its original condition. You'll still see a few marks on there, though. This was unavoidable because of how badly damaged the item was. That's fine. Thank you for your hard work. Yes, though it is something very precious to one of my informants. My informants often provide me with extremely important information. Trust is of far greater importance than profit in the relationship between me and my informants. It's understandable to think that way, and in the vast majority of cases, you'd be completely right. But things are a little different with these particular informants. Mora doesn't get you very far with this crowd. And this only makes me all the more excited to meet with them. Thank you for the repair, Xingqi. This is a great help. Oh, 
Don't mention it. It's always a pleasure, Lady Ningguang. Let's go and meet them. Auntie Ningguang! Hi, Auntie Ningguang! Hello, my dears. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. And they are some of my most reliable helpers and friends. I didn't want to involve them in intelligence gathering for me at first, but they, on the other hand, were so enthusiastic about the idea that I thought it couldn't hurt to try. I treated it as a little game between us. It turned out that they delivered the goods and thoroughly enjoyed themselves while they were at it. So, it was a win-win. So, fill me in. How have you all been doing? Great! Mom and Dad have taken me on loads of cool trips recently. It's been loads of fun. But you didn't do your homework, did you? Yeah, but it's not my fault. You still gotta try. Like teacher says, Liyue Harbor is in a new age now, and we've got a really important part to play. This new age started after that great battle, you know. Well, this is a dramatic change, unique in all of the millennia of Liyue's history. Everyone is eager to do their part and make their mark in the age of humanity. What about you, Nan Nan? You haven't said anything yet, and you're looking a little unhappy. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Um, just don't know what to say. Oh yeah, I just remembered. A load of really big boats came into the harbor the day before yesterday. Yeah, that's right. All the merchants were there, and it was really noisy. And then the people on the boat started unloading all these crates. There was a salty kind of fishy smell in the air. Ugh. Oh, I see. That'll be the fishing boats coming back from the open ocean. How much cargo were they carrying? Remember, I taught you how you can tell. Yep. I made sure to look at the waterline, just like you said. They looked really full this time. My goodness. Well, it sounds like they made quite a big catch. The heavier the boat, the lower the hull sits in the water. So you can tell how heavily loaded a vessel is from the height of the water line. How deep a fully loaded vessel will sit in the water varies from ship to ship. But it's something you can tell from experience, at least for the kinds of vessels you see regularly. <laughs> Since Auntie Ningguang taught me how to do it, I can tell with just one look. Um, a few days ago, um, I, I heard some people saying that a big merchant from Fontaine is coming soon to buy luminescent spines. They said that when they get here, the price will go up a lot. Oh, really? Who did you hear this from? Do you remember what they looked like? Um... Mm, no, I don't remember. All right, never mind. So, how about what they said? Do you remember their exact words? Um... Uh, um... Oh, I don't remember that either. Sorry. Are you okay? You're usually the one that talks the most. What's gotten into you today? It's okay. Don't be upset. Actually, I brought you a little something to cheer you up. How about that, hmm? It's my comb. You remembered. Of course I did. If I make you a promise, I will always keep it. Thank you, Auntie Ningguang. Thank you so much. It was just a small favor, really. Nothing to get overexcited about. But... but they said you'd be too busy to remember about a boring old comb. They... Uh-oh. It's all right. Don't worry. There just seems to be some kind of misunderstanding here. 
Why don't you take this opportunity to clear it up? Don't you think that'd be best? Yeah, Auntie Ming Wong's not gonna blame you. I'm sorry. I... I... I told you a lie. That thing about the luminescent spines wasn't something I heard. Um... Two people came and told me to say it to you. I told them I didn't want to lie to Auntie Ning Wong, but, um... They told me you'd forgotten all about the comb, and I, I didn't know how to argue with them. Then they bought me a new comb, and... And I... I'm sorry, I'll give them the comb back right away. No comb is better than the one you helped get fixed for me. I know how much it means to you. It was a gift from your mom before she left Liyua Harbor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. When mom gets back, she'll be so sad if she finds out I broke it. I must say, this is most intriguing. How about this? You tell me where those two people are, and I'll take the comb back to them for you. Sound good? Okay. Um, they're over at the docks. They said I should go and meet them when I finished the mission. All right, then. Don't worry, it'll all be fine. I'll be right back. Are you gonna go punish the bad guys? Now, now. This is a grown-up situation, okay? It's not fun and games anymore. And don't try and follow me. I'm just going to have a polite discussion with those two grown-ups about what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. What should I say this time? Think that kid's gonna fluff her lines? Uh, yes, I know. But we didn't have any other options. Just try not to overthink it, okay? Ning Wang adores that kid. She's not gonna get all suspicious just because her story doesn't quite add up. It sounds like you underestimated me. Lady Ningguang? You knew how important that comb was to Nan Nan, and you coached a child to lie, made her betray her own innocence and confuse her conscience. I... Sorry, Lady Ningguang, we... We never should have crossed you like this. That's not the point. Business is business. And at some point, we're all trying to get the better of one another. But you cannot put Mora above all else. You cannot go exploiting children for profit. It was hardly our first choice either. We were only acting out of necessity. We've been business partners for years now. We've gotten by, I guess, but never had any opportunities to expand. When we heard about the movement in the luminescent spine market, we thought to heck with it. Let so we stocked up a huge stash of luminescent spines and watched as the price went up and up. We thought this was going to be it. We were going to make our fortune. But we waited and waited, and, the, and this mystery merchant from Fontaine never came. Suddenly, everyone with luminescent spines was running for the exit, selling as fast as they could, but... Oh, yeah. As soon as Lady Ningguang makes a move, everyone follows her lead. And the price... If we don't sell the goods, we're both bankrupt. We're in debt to our eyeballs. We just didn't have any other choices. To be brutally honest, we took out a loan and made a speculative investment is not a sob story. But not everyone has the capability to make rational decisions. Greed, a lust for wealth, and impatience can all cloud your judgment. Do you now realize how dire the consequences of wild speculation can be? A hundred percent. We've both barely slept in days. We begged people to take our stock off our hands. They laughed at us, called us idiots, thought it was all hilarious. We messed up. Completely and catastrophically messed up. The savings we worked so hard our whole lives to build up, decimated, just like that. All we want now is a chance to start over. Hmm. Well, I can take your luminescent spines off your hands. But we will need a detailed contract. The portion of what I pay that exceeds the average price of luminescent spines in the past you will have to pay back to me, by some means in our future business dealings. Huh? But... but that means our profit is zero. Then you're free to find another willing buyer. But, if you're seriously still insisting on turning a profit under the- Lady Ningguang is right. 
Let's swap the goods for cash and use it to pay off our debts and be done with it. This is a lifeline and we should be grateful for it. Forget about making money. Yes. Yes, you're right. I have no particular need for luminescent spines. But I'm quite sure I can uncover a market for it with a little research. Okay, so, um, shall we get this deal done now, or...? No need to hurry. Our deal is hardly the urgent matter here. You took advantage of a child, and you are coming with me to make a full and unreserved apology. This is an opportunity for you to show remorse. Oh, okay. Come on. Let's go back and see the children. We're back. Huh? Oh! It's those two! I'm sorry, Nan Nan. I was lying to you when I told you that Lady Ningguang wouldn't fix your comb. I was completely in the wrong, and I promise I'll never do anything like this again. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Mm. What do you think, Auntie Ningguang? I think it should be your choice. And yours alone. Well... Since it's all sorted out now, and nothing super bad happened, I guess it's okay. But we can't just let them off. We gotta show them you don't mess with us. That's true. I'd certainly hate to see anyone else try to con you. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I want them to come play with us. Uh, yeah! Now we have someone to play hide and seek with. Great idea. Let's go play hide and seek at the North Wharf. W wait a second. Nope. No waiting. Come on! <laughs> so full of energy. Yes, of course. I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving them alone with those two buffoons. Let me guess what you're thinking. You're thinking that there's not a huge difference between me turning these children into my informants and the actions of those two businessmen. Am I right? They were completely different when I first met them. They'd run away as soon as they saw me, or they'd be shaking with nerves and unable to speak. But gradually, they stopped seeing me as someone to be afraid of. For my part, I did my utmost to fulfill the duties of a responsible adult. I played games with them, but I also taught them observation skills, analytical skills, how to think critically. Now, they're much further ahead in their studies, and far more mature than their peers. I think that this is beneficial to them. <sighs> yes, perhaps I am. I never had the chance to receive a good education as a child. That's why I hope to teach these children myself. Someday they may realize that not everything is a win-win deal, that deception and one-upmanship are facts of life. When that happens, they will be ready to face the world head-on and become exceptional businessmen and women. I will one day die. New Qixing will replace the old. And Liyue will continue to prosper. I hope the name Ningguang will live on. But not as a person, as more of a symbol. If I can pass on everything I have learned, I can create a legacy that will live on long after I am gone. Come on, Auntie Ningguang! Hurry up! We're not gonna wait forever! Coming! Come on, let's enjoy this while we can. <laughs> <laughs>